It all began with Harry Styles, then Louis Tomlinson, Zayn Malik, and Liam Payne. And now, it's time for our horror. Sham is a word that you would use in a greeting. It's like bud or pal. One Direction member and singer-songwriter Niall Horan was born in Mullingar, a town in Ireland. Now traditionally Eat Sleep Dream English has looked at British English, but today I am super excited to expand our horizons and to learn Irish English and I've got just the man to help us. My good friend John from Cork English Teacher. Hey Tom, hey Eat Sleep Dreamers, hey Niall Horan in case you're watching. With John's help, we're gonna analyze Niall Horan's Irish accent and identify the key pronunciation features. I can't wait to do this, guys. This is gonna be so, so fascinating. Let's get on with it. This is my personal guitar. That happens to be in tune, even though I didn't do that. Some features of his accent and the Irish accent in general are, for example, the TH sound. So we tend to say tanks instead of thanks, or that ting, one of those tings instead of one of those things. So not pronouncing that TH correctly or traditionally is a feature of the Irish accent. Uh, this number is 33 in UK, in the UK and the States. Whereas here, people tend to say 33. Okay, so I've picked out a few clips from interviews with Niall Horan to show you these pronunciation features that John's talking about. This is my personal guitar. That happens to be in tune, even though I didn't do that. Okay, there's our first example. I didn't do da, da. So that's that d sound that John was talking about. In received pronunciation and other British English accents, it would be the, that. But in Niall's accent, he's using the d sound, da. That happens to be in tune, even though I didn't do that. Let's get another example. It's by an Irish brand called Loudon, and they hand make all the guitars. Just, they don't sell that many guitars a year. Okay, day, day, not they, day. So he's replacing the, the, they with d, day. Well, what's interesting is that in that sentence, there are two the sounds, one of them he's using a d, and the other one he's using the, which is, as I say, of received pronunciation, other British English accents, and even American English as well. So on they, he's saying d, day, but on that, he is saying the, the, that. So you would expect him to be consistent and to use the same sound, so day and that, but actually he's using day and that two different sounds. It's by an Irish brand called Loudon, and they hand make all the guitars. Just, they don't sell that many guitars a year. Okay, let's find another example. Just, they don't sell that many guitars a year based on how much pride they put into the woods that they choose. All right, so here he's saying they again, but he's saying it like I've just said it, the, they, not day. So he's changed the sound even in the same word. Later in that sentence, instead of the, he says d. So he's going back to that d sound. So as you can see, Niall is chopping and changing between the d and the sounds. It's really interesting, and there doesn't seem to be much consistency in which one he chooses. He just kind of says it naturally, and uh, it kind of comes out without him really thinking about it. Let's listen to that whole clip, and you can hear him change between the different sounds. This is my personal guitar. That happens to be in tune, even though I didn't do that. I wrote basically my last two albums on this thing. I played it on stage every night on my Flickr World Tour last year. It's by an Irish brand called Loudon, and they hand make all the guitars. Just, they don't sell that many guitars a year based on how much pride they put into the woods that they choose. Now, John was also talking about that t sound instead of th, on words like thing and thank you. Now, in that clip we just played before, Niall says thing, thing. So he's using that th sound. But in this clip, he says it differently. Tick. <laughs> so we would say that I would say tick, which means angry. So if someone was getting angry at me, I'd say, why are you getting tick? Okay, so he's explaining the word thick in Irish slang. And he says, I would say tick, T 
tick, so that t sound, as John told us earlier. So we would say that I would say tick. But actually, from our experience of listening to Niall, he doesn't really say the t sound into th, or at least he hasn't in the examples that we looked at. And that's quite interesting. Now, that could be for many different reasons. He sees himself as saying the t sound, and maybe as a kid growing up, um, as a young boy in Malangar, he did say the t sound, so tick and ting and, and thank you. But now, he's not really using it. One reason could be that life in one direction took him around the world and exposed him to lots of different influences. He spent 24 seven with the other One Direction boys and their accents maybe influenced him slightly. A second reason could be that because these videos are shot for an international audience, perhaps he's modified his accent slightly for that reason. So he's quite aware that he's saying thick and not tick or thing and not ting. Now that's something we call code switching. It's where you change accents or dialects depending on your context. It's something that I do frequently when I'm in different contexts, I might change my accent slightly to fit that environment. All right, let's go back to John and find out the next feature of Irish English. Okay, another thing I've picked up on is the rotic R sound. So we roll all of our R's and Niall says barber, barber, whereas in the UK, people might say baba, Okay, so hair, girl, Thursday, we roll the R like in North American English. Okay, I've got a few examples of this rhotic R sound. I'm no like eco warrior, but I feel like this is my start. Essential number four, the guitar. Okay, so did you hear them start and guitar? Definitely very strong R sounds. That's different from the other One Direction boys. Because they're from the UK, Generally speaking, British English accents are non-rhotic, so that R sound doesn't exist. But yeah, with Niall, because he's from Ireland, he has rhotic R sound, so it does sound a little bit different. And that sound may be familiar to you because uh, you've listened to a lot of American English, because that rhotic R is also in American English as well. I'm no, like, eco-warrior, but I feel like this is my start. Essential number four. The guitar. And lastly, uh, Niall, this could be an accent thing from where he's from, but instead of saying eyes, he says oys, oys. Um, so it's like an oy sound. Okay, so that's a feature actually in more places throughout Ireland, but uh, yeah, I mean, me, I say my eyes, but he, yeah, Niall clearly says my oys. I like wearing sunglasses a lot, obviously because it's sunny. <laughs> I've uh, got sensitive eyes. Okay, and that final sound, that oi sound, that oys. Now he does say it there, but then when he says Irish, it's the same I sound. He doesn't say Irish, he says Irish. So again, he's chopping and changing between the sounds. I like wearing sunglasses a lot, obviously because it's sunny. <laughs> uh, I've got sensitive eyes. I'd like to add one extra feature here, which is the T sound. We've looked at the T sound with all the other One Direction boys, and again, Nal Horan is using that glottal tease. Money can't buy your way in there. You have to be invited in. As you can see from the television, it's pretty spectacular. My favorite place in the world, bar none. So he says, pretty, pretty. So he's restricting the airflow on that t sound. He also uses it again here. And if you're a golf nerd like me, you'll appreciate what I've just said for the last 30 seconds. In general, his accent is quite good, quite typical of an Irish accent. Probably toned down a little bit because he's lived abroad and obviously for his work he needs to, you know, give a good impression. So I think that his accent is not so thick. The Irish accent is famous for being thick and almost difficult to make out because of things like that TH sound and, and certain uh, habits we have. But in general, um, Niall Horan's accent, quite a typical Irish accent. And if you come here, I'm sure you'll hear plenty of people using those features and speaking similar to Niall. So thanks, Tom. Thanks, Eat Sleep Dreamers. Thanks, Niall. I'm sorry if <laughs> I've offended you by, by picking apart your accent, but you're a great ambassador to our country, and uh, hopefully people will come here and enjoy the lovely Irish accent. All right, guys, how was that? Did you enjoy learning about Niall Horan's Irish accent? I'm sure you did. I just want to say a huge thank you to John 
from Cook English Teacher for helping me out with this and lending us his expert knowledge. You can find John on Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube at Cook English Teacher. Go follow him, he's an absolutely fantastic English teacher with loads of great content. And guys, we've completed one direction. So, whose accent would you like me to analyze next? Let me know in the comments below. And also tell me which One Direction member's accent do you like listening to the most? Let me know in the comments below, I would really appreciate that. And of course, share this with anyone you know that loves learning English or loves One Direction. Until next time guys, this is Tom, the Chief Dreamer, saying goodbye.